Hey everybody, Dad You Never Had, here for another how-to helpful video, I hope. Actually, this one I think I could have made some money on if I, if I was like that, but I figure, hey, dads are here to help. And so I want to do anything I can to help people that don't know how to uh, DIY things. I've done a lot of different stuff in my life, so um, I enjoy trying to figure things out. What I had was a problem of hats everywhere. So you might have this too, especially when your head hasn't changed in the last 40 years <laughs> like mine. But anyway, so I had hats and we piled them up and we tried to stack them up and I had hooks on my wall like you probably do that, you know, you can hook two or three hats on and I, and I thought that was the way to go. But, you know, when you have, and I probably have, 40 hats. I'm serious. I don't think I've even bought a single one of them. But anyway, during COVID, I thought, well, I need to find a better way to hang these hats. So I kind of came up with, with this little device, which I don't know if you can see. I just made it out of PVC and put some screws coming out of it like that. And what I was making was basically like a curtain rod that you could screw into a wall. And, and I, I put it into this I have this shelf shelf unit here in the back bedroom and I put it in there and then I was taking my hats off but I had to undo the back strap in order to hang it on there and it actually worked pretty good you could get you get a lot of hats on here but each time you want to take them off you had to undo the strap and for me then you know like this one's velcro I got to figure out where exactly it was when it fit me well so I, I went with that for a while and then decided to change it up and this is where things got a little revolutionary um, instead of using these caps these are these are end caps that you would cap off a pvc pipe this pipe you can buy at any hardware store it's um, it's just half inch pvc um, any hardware store is going to have it. You can buy a long, long stick of it. And then you buy these 90 degree angles here. Get a couple of those. Some of this. And not this. Instead of this, I found another product or another way to do it that I'll show you. But I'll show you that now and how I got inspired. This hanging thing I swear I got it from my dad's house, so I don't even know what it is. I thought it was probably for hanging ties, you know, like neckties. But I realized I could hang hats on it, but I didn't have anywhere really to hang it. So I, I kind of had it out here on the shelf and was able to get quite a few hats on it. But I don't know where to buy that. I don't know where to get it. I did not do it, and not only do I need a solution for my hats, but my wife has even more hats than me. I'll just leave it at that. So instead of buying the end caps for the PVC pipe, I found these. And this is the basically the same thing. So it goes into the 90 degree, and I'll show you how that works. So all I did was drill a little hole in this, Get a screw and screwed it into my wood shelf. Now make sure your screw before you start this isn't gonna go isn't so long that you're gonna go through this other side. That's important. And I also picked a screw that had a, a little bit of a washer sort of built in. This is just a screw that I laying around in my garage. Which you may not have, but consider that if you're actually gonna have to go buy some screws. So once you have this in place, what you're going to have is your hats hanging up here and the, low, the bottom hat's going to hang from the bottom. So you're going to put this on. No need to even glue it. Just push it on like that. Okay. And from there, cut, a, cut another piece of this pipe as long as you want. This one's maybe 12 inches, I think, at the most and put it on like this. Now what you have is that's an independent hat rack. You can see I have two of them. 
That's another one there. And I'll put it on also. It's already made. Take just literally seconds. You can cut PVC with a hacksaw. Uh, most other blades, or even I have a cutting tool that I use when I'm doing uh, landscaping work and that kind of thing, which actually cuts through it like a big pair of scissors. But use a hacksaw, use a saw, whatever. If, if you if you really hack up the edges, you just kind of sand that down. So you want this to be relatively smooth up here. Like I said, no need for glue. Glue this all the way. Here I've got two of them, and I'll hang a couple of hats to show you how it works. Okay, there's the rack. There's, oops, there's the rack here. I'm trying to film and do this with one hand. So when you hang the hat on, you need to realize that the hat, like if this is where your your first 90 is, your hat's going to hang down here. So take that into account which I actually didn't do in my wife's closet, and I'll show you the result of that, although she said she was fine with it. So like I said, that's about 12 inches at the most, and I'm gonna start hanging hats in there and try to count. So there's hat number two, and I'll get back to you. Okay, that's 15 hats I just stuck on that one pole. There's still a little bit of room here, but like I say, you gotta remember that the bottom hat's going to hang down lower than where the 90 degree is, which is up there. So account for that space wherever you're doing this. And you could do this on a wall, any any type of, you know, anywhere you could hang something. I did I, I did another one, took four of them in the back of my wife's closet door, which is a hollow door, and I'll show you how I did that in a second. But there's 15 hats. It does kind of protrude out a little bit, as you'll see, but no, not no big deal. And this, like I said, this is sort of in a back area where it's out of the way. And they're up off the floor. And I love it. So there's 15 hats. There's room for another 15. And I got my dad's old hanger thing that I hang in the middle. So I can have as many hats as I want. Does not work if your hats don't have the hole in the back. So if you have the fitted caps or the ones that don't have the hole obviously this you'll need another solution for those but i really hope you like this tip if you have any questions or comments post them below i will answer them all i promise since i don't have that many followers no big deal but like i said one half inch pvc pipe you can buy whatever size you want you can make that as long as you want you can stick these things anywhere you want you can put it on a, your wall here if i wanted to just use the right anchoring system for that if you're not sure let me know and I'll, I'll talk about that i'll show you real quickly the back of my wife's closet and a little bit of problem i ran into there okay i'm in a, a small walk-in closet it's my wife she'll kill me if she knew i was filming in here but i i put two four racks all together in here. So like we said, if they're a foot long, that's 60 hats, easy. What I didn't account for at the time was the hats hanging down. So when I put them there, when I put the top one in and then I put the next one in, I should have lowered this down. And I told her, I said, hey, I'll just, I'll move it, It'll take 10 seconds. I could move it further down the door uh, she said she didn't care and it was fine. So that's how it's been since then. But she's got a lot of hats on there. Uh, the reason I was able to put this on a hollow door was I used these boards. So I, I got a piece of wood and cut it to length because on the edges of doors, it's solid. But doors, most doors like this, interior doors, it's hollow. So you're not going to, you try to drill a hole in that, it's going to crumple down. So that's why I put the wood going across. Gave me something to anchor to, which was solid, the wood. And then I was able to put the little uh, male cap on there and put the 90 on with the PVC going up. This is pretty simple. I know you guys can do it. 
Thanks for watching, and now a dad joke. So for today's joke, you have to know your audience. So depending on how old your kids are, you may change what you call it, but you could say, hey, how do you keep a moron in suspense? But, you know, if they don't know what that means, you say, you know, how do you keep a poo-poo pee-pee head? Or you, you get the idea. What, whatever they think is, is kind of bad or stupid or dumb. So you, so you come in and you go, hey, how do you keep a pee-pee head in suspense? Kids are like, I don't know, Dad. How do, how do you keep them in suspense? <laughs>